Let's try and jump to the place. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. Let's no need to give up! Stay back. Go on! Can't you leave us alone? Right. <laughs> ah, gotta get a little payback in my part. Come on, man. Go on. You're going down. <laughs> First class. <laughs> Come on. Deal with that. So it's my turn? Taking over. Not looking good. I'm waiting. I'll show you what I can do. Why don't you lead the Let's way? Let's do this. I'm just so tired. Yeah. Brace yourself. Yeah. Bring it. Come on. Yeah. Now you're in for it. You're out of luck. Yeah. Shit. Okay. <laughs> so, you had enough yet? No. I don't believe that I have. <gasps> you have to stop it. You can't. It's my job. Then think about changing careers. You're mine! <laughs> You don't know me. It's your turn. Another. 
No escape. How's that payback working out? Oh, better to expect. So it's my turn? I thought you didn't want to get rough. No, but this is self-defense. Feeling good. Bring it. No holding back. I'm coming. That's enough out of I'm trying, but... Hang back. Keep it together. You're mine! Good morning, guys. All right. Get Don't up. overdo it. I'll take care of them. Excuse me. I see you. Too bright. Tagging out. Taking over. I'm coming. You jittery? Let's do this. Deal with that. Here goes. Good. Can't keep eyes. Hey, That's long. Need a breather. Uh, try that again. You gotta be careful. Take it over. Okay. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Any last words? <laughs> needed on standby for a job at something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Wait a sec. So, you coming? Talking to the... Shh. 
So, yeah, it was that kind of day. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey, what'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask. But would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say.
Don't want to overstay my welcome. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If it isn't the new florist, I appreciate you helping the kids out today, thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. Sure. The kids are talking about you like they found themselves a new hero. Thank you for being there for the children. I really appreciate it. Don't push yourself too hard. The kids are talking about you. Thank you for being there for the children. I really appreciate it. This time you Walmart.
A merc, huh? See anything you like? <laughs> Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about what happened. about a coincidence what are you doing here waiting why because I'm not sick of you yet oh. <laughs> lead on then with pleasure <laughs> Something wrong? It's nothing. <sighs> you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. <laughs> That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. Like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Here we go. I see you. Gotcha. You're done.
seriously. Get ready. Go on! Calling fire! Was never in doubt. What's that? A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. I wonder if we can use this. It's this way. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment?
Bring it. Let's do this. Try me. Get him! That's it. Let's do this. Here he comes! One more shot! Here we go. Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? Yeah? Huh? Uh, huh. Uh. Oh no, look! Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. a second. Gotcha! Not too fast, okay? Got it.
Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> Kept them in a, a composite... I don't get it! Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple! <laughs> compensatory damages is like... Uh, it's like... Compensation... For damages! Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you... No, when somebody else... We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense. That's all. <laughs> due recompense! Due recompense! Due... due recompense? No shit for brains. Due recompense. It's like, uh... It's like, uh... Compensatory damages! Um, of course! So damages recompense! I get it! Simple as that! I think we've heard enough. Let's do oh, this. Okay. Hey! <laughs> 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 Soldier. That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Huh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay.
stupid ladder is always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it? It's this way.
It's this way. Pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> huh? Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Hold it right there, lovebirds! <laughs> you wanna pack with the art territory? You gotta pay the toll! Get him! That's it! Good. We made it! Smell the fresh air? The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! Time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <sighs> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Uh, 
Are you okay? Oh, it's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. Okay. Won't take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector Seven in style? This is the passageway for you. Okay, getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <sighs> <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. <laughs> Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. lost you what's going on Shh. I'll explain everything later but now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo you should head back to seventh heaven meet up with the gang but I'll be fine you've seen how much ass I can kick I have <laughs> yeah yeah No, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? 
A mansion filled with his goons. Come on, aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... <laughs> What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Yes, we want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's a great fighter. I'm not sure that helps. Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? for the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon, if at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Hey, newbie. This delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? These ones addressed to... Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little stretch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to tonight? You gotta let go of your inhibitions and set yourself free. Indulge your wildest fantasies. What happens here stays here. After all, baby, you're in Wall Market. That's just how we do. So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to tonight? Step right up, step right up. I it's the fully automated, state-of-the-art item procurement machine. Oh. Maybe it's broken? Any item? Huh? Oh, What's that? It's not working, you say? Huh. Maybe there's something wrong with the wiring. Huh? It shot you? Well, 
That's not good for business. Wiring must be faulty or something. Huh? What's that? Not working, you say? Hey there. We're a pharmacy, but we stock other stuff too. I will go wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Bicycle drop here. Excuse me. I was wondering. <laughs> There's nothing more fun than scouring the racks for the Hey there. Piece. Are you looking for anything in particular today? Please, feel free to look around. If you have any questions, just ask, okay? Hey there. Are you looking for anything in particular today? Street just over there? You're not still wasting your gill at the Honeybee Inn, are you? <laughs> you bet I am! Found me a secret route in, one nobody don't know about. Only trouble is, it's filled with drunks and garbage. Hey, you hear about that re- You're not still- <laughs> You bet I am! Found me a secret Are you sure about this man? Cornell is gonna use and abuse you. That guy over there, he, uh, he doing all right, you think? He's fine, just drunk. Like the rest of them. Am I right? <laughs> that sense. I can't stand it. You don't need more than one copy. I hope you like them as much as I do. Even if you love the artist, you don't need more than one copy. Oh, I didn't realize you were... Maybe the breeze was... I'm 
so excited to finally see Andrea's show. Yeah, you and me both. That rush, that feeling of whatever it is, I completely hooked. My apologies, sir. We are not ready to open at this time. Aren't you that leaf house? Uh, hey! What the hell, Merc? Digging into people's personal affairs in this town is a huge no-no. What are you doing here? Uh, well, if you must know, I've wanted to be a dancer ever since I was a little girl. I come here at night to live the dream. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell the children, okay? I've always wanted to dance for a living. I practice every second I can. It's the only way I'll become the best. I practice every second I can. It's the only way I'll become the best. I've always wanted to dance for a living. Gotta stay sharp, though. Lifetime bands are lifetime bands. <laughs> Marlita's the greatest honey girl there ever was. It's an undisputed truth. Yes, who? It's always best to be prepared for the worst, wouldn't you agree? Quality monster insurance is more essential than ever these days. What's that? You're very interested in the coverage we offer? Only our premium policy will do for you, sir. It's always best to be prepared for the worst, wouldn't you agree? Keep this up. You might want to sign up for disability insurance. Like now. No, no way! You've lost your marbles, man! My marbles are secure, sir. Tis you who are crazy. Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. You may not like the people you find down here, and they may not like you. We're cool, though. Just blowing off work is all. We're not up to anything. Honest. We just want a second away to relax. This alley is like a sanctuary for us. You should see it in the daytime. Empty. Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. You may not like the people you find down here. Hey, bro, this ain't no place to hang out. You feel me? Ain't nobody gonna give a shit if you get your throat cut here. Hey, bro, this ain't no ain't nobody gonna give a shit if you get your throat cut here. <laughs> what happened with you know what? Aren't you a curious cat, walking dark alleys? 
You've got balls, so I'll give you a pass. This once. You didn't see or hear anything. You get me? Oh, kid. I know you're not telling me to move. I'll let it slide tonight. Now beat it. Aren't you a curious cat? You've got balls, so I'll give you a pass. Wait, you don't mean the newbie too, right? I said deal with it. Can't have this coming back on Sam or the Dawn. <laughs> My, what lovely weather we're having. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? They're ripping off mm. you and me and everybody else. If I can't get that money <laughs> by me, man, right. Step right up. Look, a Type 60 tank and I can't get 32. It's freaking Yes, you. Do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening? We have the perfect room for a sweet-looking couple like you. No thanks. But you thought about it, didn't you? <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. You know, I've heard from more than a few people that my son Johnny has been roaming the streets of Walmart. Before he leaves town, I need to make sure I deliver him his lucky pillow. I have faith in my boy, of course. But a growing man needs plenty of sleep. Sleep of good quality, no less. That's how mind and body stay healthy and active. In other words, this pillow is crucial to his health. <laughs> my wife is back in Sector 7. I thought it best she wait for me there because the establishments in this town are uh, provocative. <laughs> of course, I haven't been to any myself, so I don't know what goes on around here. Not in the slightest. <laughs> you know, I've heard from more than a few people that before he leaves town, but a growing man needs... <laughs> Hey there, friend. Grab a seat. Any seat that's open. Sure about that? So, what will it be? 
If you want a recommendation, try the recommended special. Hey there, friend. Grab a seat. Any seat that's open. Relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Oh, that's what I need. Chocobo people, shaped like everybody's favorite chocobos. Get them while they're hot. My dear beloved girl, I'm so sorry. Dig a hole and throw me in. I'm already dead. My dear beloved girl, I'm so sorry. Thank you. I signed with Shinya Records a while back, but I'm still looking for my first big hit. It's been seven years now. Not easy, but you gotta do what you love. And I love to sing. This is a new song of mine. Maybe it'll be that number one. I hope to see you at my next gig. Um, want an autograph? I hope to see you at my next gig. Welcome to Wall Market's premier weapon shop. Do come again. Welcome, come on in. Take a look. Take a look. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. The collection out front belongs to my old man. I wish you the it's best of luck easy. out there. Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah.
Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. If you're hell-bent on getting in, then go bother the trio. If you're hell-bent on getting in, then go bother the trio. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. Mm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. See Andrea. Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh. We don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Hey, are you nervous too? This is good. Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Such a beautiful night. I just need to wait here a little longer. Okay. 
so weird. There's, so weird. There's something downright wrong with it. I guess they're closed right now? I feel They call themselves Dead Step right up! Step right up! You should have known better! Always go with your gut! Should have said heads! You should have known better! Always go with your gut! Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, hear us out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong. And you'll leave me in peace. No thanks. Oh, not a gambler, huh? I am! Heads! Huh? So glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Welcome to the world of tomorrow! <laughs> Any item you can there's something down right now. Don't you don't have to kill the pain and get the hell out! It's the best thing that's ever been Shit. done to me. My sweet, sweet Madam M. I'm a customer for life. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, for the love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. 
This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> If that was to your liking, do come again. Right. <sighs> How was it? Huh? You okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. 
Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. 